Uh, my name is Gerald Msara. Uh, I call myself uh, the pigpreneur because I believe that you can adopt pig farming as entrepreneurship or you can incorporate all the principles and the dictates of entrepreneurship in pig farming. That is the only way uh, you can enjoy pig farming. Uh, the very fact that I appreciate pig farming as a business, I believe that uh, pig farming uh, has a lot to do uh, with the profit and the loss management. So in today's video, I just want to talk about uh, a picture uh, that was circulating on our WhatsApp platforms. Uh, it actually made a noise uh, of a small winner that was shared by one of the farmers who was asking what could be the cause uh, because they discovered that their piglet was actually uh, not growing enough, showing physical signs of discomfort, and it was actually not pleasing uh, visually. So I just thought I should respond uh, through a video. I was not able to respond in that group because uh, I allowed everyone to share their opinion. Uh, I was actually happy to say that uh, my fellow farmers are appreciating what we are teaching them on a daily basis. So let's talk about uh, the picture that I'm going to flight uh, on the screen so that we move along together. So the first thing we need to do is to do just an observation. Uh, of the physical things that you can see on this photo. Uh, I made a compilation so that uh, I keep track of, of what to talk about and not to repeat points. So the first thing I see before we go any further about detailing what could be happening to this winner, the first thing I want to talk about or that I have observed is that uh, this animal is suffering from abuse. These kinds of farmers who have uh, their winners or their pigs grow to this extent uh, are purely heartless. Uh, they don't deserve to be involved in pig farming because they are cruel. That's the first thing I, I can say because this is not a good way of farming pigs. The moment you see that you are no longer able to take care of the animals, it's better to close off that project or to sell that project to someone else. Uh, you can see even from the photo um, that the piglet has no mobility. Even if you zoom in, you can see this piglet, a piglet is in physical pain. Uh, that's the first thing that we should address. This is animal abuse. And if you didn't know, it's a crime actually uh, to treat animals like this. Uh, so let's go straight to the details of what a professional pig farmer should look at. Uh, the first uh, thing to talk about is uh, related to a weak biosecurity system. From this picture alone, I can tell that uh, where these pigs reside, there is a compromised biosecurity system. Why? Because the winner is showing clear signs of mange. Uh, if you zoom into the face, you can see that the face is cracked. Uh, even the skin is showing signs of uh, an earlier Erisperus attack and also the skin is actually peeling off which is a sign that there is a weak compromised system. So the moment we talk of mange, a mange is mainly caused by parasitic animals uh, that are normally brought at the farm by domestic animals. Uh, we are talking of our cattle, we are talking of our goats, but the main carriers, the main carriers of men at a farm are, are dogs. Because in a day, a dog has got an ability to cover an area of a 10 kilometer radius where they will be collecting uh, these mange mites and bring them to the farm. Uh, so we can simply say there is no biosecurity system. We cannot talk of food baths at this uh, premise. We can also not talk of uh, main entry food baths because 
of these mange signs that we are we are seeing here so i've said that you can observe that uh it was earlier attacked by erispirus you can see the visible signs of a diamond skin disease uh you can also visibly see the skin that is peeling off uh, that is advanced mange so the best way to avoid mange attacking your farm is to develop a a religious disinfectant uh, policy where you disinfect your pens either once or twice per week and then the second way to deal with um, uh, mange mites is to cut off the grass that is uh, that surrounds your pig styes then to restrict uh, access to the pens by other domestic animals especially cattle dogs and cats they are the major carriers of what or of mange mites then the second observation that i made uh, from this uh, snapshot is mineral deficiency on the animal the best way to observe mineral deficiency in an animal uh, especially with regards to pigs is the rugged skin you can see that the fur is rugged that shows a mineral deficiency mineral deficiency uh, can be found either in the feed mainly it's related to feed so i can safely say that the farmer is struggling to feed these animals why can i safely say so if you zoom into the floor you can see the amount of dung that is there these pigs have reached a level of inappetence they have lost the appetite for feed intake and water intake so it's now a very serious situation and it's very difficult to to reverse then Another thing that I observed is the general loss of body condition. You know, you can see the protruding ribs. Uh, you can see um, a well-defined spine that is starting to show off. That is a sign of pigs that are being stuffed. These piglets are not getting enough feed. That's number one. If the farmer was providing feed, then they should have paid attention to inappetence because inappetence doesn't attack your pigs uh, from Norway. It takes a time, and the stockman can actually observe the worrying patterns of the feed intake. Any decrease in the feed intake is a sign that something needs fixing and the major problem that she could be facing is a uh, loss of appetite for feed in the water so the best way to address that now is to inject a one meal multivitamin uh, injection to this group then you can also add amino boost into the feed so that you boost the appetite uh, then you can also add molasses in water so that uh, you can increase their appetite for drinking water that is how we can help uh, this animal then when you get to this stage like i said i'm a pig preneur we focus on profit and loss. The major question that every farmer should ask themselves whenever they visit their production site is, is it worth it? Are we winning? Or should we keep this project going? Or we should shut it off? Uh, when we get to this stage, like we are seeing from this short uh, snapshot, is that the project should be shut down because we have lost control of the project. We have failed to feed uh, or to provide a safe environment for these uh, piglets to grow so the best way will be culling yes we may try to reverse the side effects of inappetence by introducing these amino boosts, these appetizers and injecting all these sorts of multivitamins but it will be very costly mind you we want to sell at the very shortest period of time so what it means is this group to go to the market from this stage that we are seeing from this picture it now needs at least six to seven more weeks just to regain the initial conditions that allow it to grow i don't know about the age of this piglet but if we can zoom in you can actually tell that these uh, winners are roughly between nine to twelve weeks old because of, of the of the small face i can easily tell that they are not 
uh, that fully grown. But given the situation that we are talking about, it's now very difficult to bring these uh, pigs to an efficient um, performance. So my advice to you, my fellow farmers, is try to pay attention to the feed intake in your pens. That's why I always emphasize that pigs should be weighed once every seven days. Then your feed should be weighed every day. It allows us to calculate the feed conversion ratio. It doesn't make any sense to keep my pigs as in Kakuri. And it like in Guru, it's after eight to nine months with this of Buddha market. And with this of Buddha went to market, Koko, Zicha Tipa, a live weight of more, not more than 50 kgs. Take us obvious at 25 percent, you put it to one carcass weight. It doesn't make any sense. And it so do but it out or no, 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 guys, gonna project as she cap up. E, admitting failure e, is noble and it shows that you are a lady or a gentleman. And it can touch she cap a separate corner up up project. Yeah, she has a say as make a sense. And it so, guys, don't go to negotiate out my thoughts e, on this. Um, photo that I'm going to discuss in Israel. I saw the discussion in, in, in at least three of our groups. So, I don't know, no, 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 no. I don't know if I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say Zino Gazirika can actually pay attention to these systems that not guys and got it the Rema systems are, got it the Rema regimes are. Then avoid being a cell phone farmer. And I can put out in my previous videos, but if you are not able to be there, so your money has to be there for you. We are going to my investments, and it's going to be able to monitor the business that we are running as well. And it's going so thank you guys for taking your time to listen to this video as I react uh, to a photo that was shared by a fellow member. Kuru zero yangu guys, and you please let's love these animals. What is should be say my is fall in love with these animals and make sure they are adequately fed. Once you do that, you are good to go. Cheers.